during the few moments that we have left, we want to talk right down to us in a language that everybody here can easily understand. Twelve seconds to a championship for the Sun. Jake O'Donnell is telling John Johnson to give Wesley Unsell room to operate on the inbounds pass. Fires in. Ballard long on top of the key. No good. Rebound. John Johnson. Sonics have it. Seven seconds. Six. Five. Four. Pass to Gus Williams. Three. Two. One. And the Supersonics win their first ever NBA championship. The ball sails high in the air. Les Haberger does the Haberger hop. The Sonics are ecstatic. The horns are hooking around the Pacific Northwest. And I'm sure there is. Here's a big round of applause from the Washington Bullet fans for both ball clubs, mainly for the Washington Bullets, but for both teams. The last two games of this series, simply outstanding ball games. The final score is the Seattle Supersonics win their first ever NBA championship, Seattle 97, and the Washington Bullets 93. Commando Dave here, point man of the fans revolution at wethefans.com, the official sports fan union, fighting for the rights and demands of sports fans since the NBA lockout of 98-99. Now, I don't say that to impress you, but to impress upon you, I'm highly qualified to say what I'm about to say on the Soto Arena proposal that is now being officially called the Sonics Arena, because in my book, Today is the day it's all about. For real Seattle Supersonics fans, today is what it's all about. Now, I'm only speaking to real Seattle Sonic fans. So if that's not you, if you're an NBA fan who lives in Seattle, now would be a good time for you to stop the video because this won't be for you. Because today, June 1st, the day I've hosted a Seattle Supersonic 79 championship party each year at Floyd's Place in Lower Queen Anne since the Sonics went MIA. But today is not a day for the usual celebration, but one for historic commemoration and Seattle Sonic fans' determination. Because now that the Soto Arena proposal has officially morphed into SonicsArena.com, I would be remiss in my duties as a Seattle-based sports fan activist if I didn't point out the fact of the negligent misrepresentation that website represents. And before you say, man, Commando Dave is tripping. For the record, I've been talking about paragraph 6 and the contractual legal effect it has on the Sonics name, history, and NBA team playing in Seattle for months. I didn't write it. I didn't sign it. I've just read it a bunch of times, and from what I've read, at this time, it is completely out of order for the proposed arena in Soto to be called the Sonics Arena. You know why I say it's not a day of usual celebration? Because a month ago, while thinking about the 33rd anniversary of the 79 Sonics Championship, I called the Museum of History and industry and inquired about having the championship trophy at Floyd's place where we've had the viewing of game five of the 1979 NBA finals for the past three years since the Sonics went MIA in 2008 and you know what the mayor of Seattle couldn't authorize it the city council couldn't the King County executive couldn't sign for it nor could the King County Council no matter what district they're in. The sole person that I as a staunch Supersonics fan throwing a fourth Sonics Championship viewing party in Seattle had to get authorization from 
was the vice president of guest relations of the OKC basketball team. And that's when I said, oh, hell no. And with all of the Soto excitement clothed in green and gold, I'm sure many fans think, oh, yeah, it's going to work out. It's going to be the Sonics. It's going to be the Sonics. And anyone saying that must have forgotten this all started with an agreement. The lease agreement at Key Arena that ran until 2010. Remember how we all thought it was going to work out and then presto, there was nothing Sonic fans could do about it. And then there was a new agreement with paragraph 6, which is still in effect. And time is ticking. But there's enough left to demand that the issue of the Sonic's name and history are immediately moved to the top priority in the so-called Sonic's Arena deal. And I say so-called because I've yet to see any documentation that confirms otherwise. There are two MOUs on the table and they contradict each other on this most important Seattle Supersonics point. And today, June 1st, 2012, the day it's all about for real Seattle Supersonics fans, the day it's all about as far as the Supersonics history that was created in Seattle, and the day that is etched in NBA stone the 33rd anniversary of the Seattle Supersonics NBA championship is as good a day as any for real Seattle Sonic fans to demand from all of the key players in the Soto Arena deal show us right now we want to see the words spelled out on a PDF of the actual document that ensures that this won't be one of those Seahawks grass to field turf things or that Mariners cost overrun thing. Before the Sonics Arena goes any further with studies and analysis and debate and reviews and zoning and due diligence and everything that has to happen before the first shovel goes into the Soto dirt, Please. In fact, in the words of Winston Wolf, pretty please, with sugar on top, be certain you can call the team the Sonics. I agree. It's time to bring the Sonics back to Seattle. And to that end, it's time to prove this is about bringing the Sonics back to Seattle and not merely bringing the NBA back to Seattle and there's only one way to do that post the PDF agreement on sonicsarena.com and until that's done it's the Soto no Sonics Arena as far as I'm concerned here we are <laughs> <laughs> to the owner of the Sonics Sam Schulman to the president of the Sonics, Zali Volchuk, to this great coach, Lenny Wilkins, and Les Haberger, his assistant coach, to Captain Downtown, Freddie Brown. The champion in the NBA is the champion of the world. So the Seattle Supersonics are the new world champions and I now want to present the world trophy to them, which they can keep permanently and be careful of it because it's gold. Woo!
You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! That's Commander Day, wasn't it? Yeah, they have his own show. Have you? Yeah, no kidding.